Yo, what up? It's your boy, Sun TJ. If you don't know, the Broly movie is coming soon. So um, if you want to check that, um, like all of my reactions to the information is the previous video. And also check out my Jamal Fighters video that has gotten less than 100 views. But it's got 15 likes, which I appreciate that. But also, please check it out. It's pretty funny. But today, we're here to talk about just straight up speculation. There's literally nothing back it up what I'm saying right now. Like, maybe it's a little bit like, but I want to talk about... How powerful can Dragon Ball Super Broly be? Just, just speculate. And hey, if I'm right, I'm right. Because I'm not going to see this movie till like damn near next year, I guess. Like, I don't know. Maybe if it's in theaters enough. But you know how they do anime movies. You like never see them. Except that one magical day, which is, that is crazy. Bless. I don't sleep on no beef. We ain't sleeping no beef. You know I'm on top of everything. Lurk, run grass. Yeah. And they don't shoot cribs. They going to give you one chance. What? Like, look, come outside or we going to come in. Boy, <laughs> when I pull up and make them catch a lot. Blue. Beam on that chopper, come ain't how I throw them dragon balls at you like I'm Kakarot. So we know that Broly is gonna fight base Goku. Like we already seen in the trailer, that's Broly. He's fighting base Goku. And um we even from a Kirishiyama statement talking about the reboot Broly that um he's gonna fight you no know, Goku and Vegeta and we seen the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta and um I saw um one of my uh, one of my pals on YouTube um Geekless TV make a whole thing talking about how like base Broly is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku or something like I don't really believe in that but um this is how I'm gonna power scale things right I have to because Broly has to be always stronger than the majority of Goku and Vegeta's forms but then they have this specific form that they have that beats Broly's form like that's how it always goes um I think base Broly is gonna be stronger than all of Goku's Super Saiyan forms that's not you know God key like, I feel like that's where, like, base bro is going to be stronger than that. But I think Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue are going to be stronger than, like, base Broly. But I think regular Super Saiyan Broly, not legendary. Like, if even in the Dragon Ball Super anime, they shown Kale with the, the same transformation that Broly had in the movies. Where um, Kale has um, Super Saiyan, legendary Super Saiyan, and, like, I guess specific to hers, like, legendary Super Saiyan 2. Because she, like, shrinks down and, like... And Dokkan, they call it Super Saiyan 2, but I'm just gonna stick with like Broly having just Super Saiyan and Legendary Super Saiyan. And I think base Broly is gonna be stronger than all of Goku and Vegeta's regular Super Saiyan forms. But once they go Super Saiyan Blue, they're gonna beat the crap out of base Broly. But when Broly goes Super Saiyan, like just regular, he's gonna destroy Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. That's how I feel. But if they stick to the canon, which they should, they're gonna have Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I think those two forms are gonna stomp. Super Saiyan Broly, like that that has to go down. Then we get the iconic, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And that's where it's gonna seem like all hope is lost because Kaioken times 20, Blue Goku ain't doing nothing. Blue Evolution, Vegeta ain't doing nothing because I don't care how much we keep saying Blue Evolution is stronger than Goku. At this point, they better be on par or Goku's a little bit stronger because, hey, that's the canon. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think legendary Super Saiyan Broly is gonna be stronger than everybody or the whole legendary Super Saiyan 2 thing. I hope they keep that specific for Kale, even though she doesn't show electricity or whatever. But you never know. Maybe Broly's gonna have the true legendary Super Saiyan form where he shrinks, but I think that wouldn't be good for popularity effects. So I think he's gonna have his classic legendary form, just that it's gonna be way stronger in this canon. This canon. Then you're gonna either need two things: either a fusion to take on legendary Super Saiyan Broly or Ultra Instinct Goku. My best is going to be on Ultra Instinct Goku, or it might be a fusion, but it fails, then it's Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, they go for Gogeta because they're releasing Fusion Reborn and Bardock. So I'm thinking Bardock's going to show up in the movie, and they always like they always hint at Gogeta, but they usually just bring in Vegeta. Like, either way, I feel like it's going to be a Super Saiyan Blue fusion that's going to come in, then that, like, fails because usually fusions never win. Then Ultra Instinct Goku comes in and beats Broly. So. That's how I feel about this. I think base Broly is going to be stronger than all the Super Saiyan forms. Then, like, Super Saiyan, uh, then Super Saiyan Broly is going to be stronger than, like, Super Saiyan Blue. And, like, just, like, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. Then Legendary Super Saiyan is going to be stronger than Blue Kaioken times 20. And Evolution is going to take Ultra Instinct or Vegito Blue or Gorgito Blue to beat Broly. So, what do you think is going to go down with Broly's power? Do you think he's going to, like, be a big, just gigantic force stronger than Jiren? Or you think he's going to be like around the Ultra Instinct level but gets beaten by Ultra Instinct Goku and like, you know, he's weaker than Goku and Jiren. Or he might be stronger than. I just don't really feel like they need to job out Ultra Instinct because Ultra Instinct is like a cult following. Like, it's just so popular regardless of how people keep saying they don't like Mastered Ultra Instinct. And listen, Master Ultra Instinct is just Ultra Instinct and like Ultra Instinct Omen is Ultra Instinct Sign. But regardless, I don't think they need to have Ultra Instinct lose. 
Like, they've done that with Super Saiyan Blue. They already know that people don't like, like, God-tier forms losing. So I think Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken and Evolution need to be jobs for Ultra Instinct to come in and take the win. So how you feel about this? This is just my prediction. You know, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video should be Kefla versus Topo. I have some interesting opinions about that. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the content and support everything I do, man. Like, I really want to venture out on this channel and get like 40 likes on majority of my videos. But I know you subscribe for the power scaling and top strongs videos. But please support my other content. I think I also like the comedy stuff too. But support the gaming content. Really appreciate it. Um, let's try to get this video to 40 likes. And yeah, son to job peace. Love you all.